Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Saturday. You guys know what time it is. It's time for the community, community coffee. I'm excited this morning. It's time for community coffee. It's Mother's Day weekend. So you guys get on the phone, let somebody know we're on. Share this video. Share this video and tag me in it. I only have one device working today, <laughs> so we want to make sure everybody's going to see this program. We are happy to be here as we are every Saturday morning. My name is Kimberly Holmes Ross. I'm with Evanston Cradle to Career, where we work with over 40 partners and organizations in Evanston to make it the most equitable and fair place it can be. So again, we are here every Saturday morning, and this morning, this morning, we are here celebrating Mother's Day. Yay! Happy Mother's Day. So excited. So excited. Um, all my guests, I know them and I'm connected with them on different levels. Bottom line, I love them all. Every, each and, every single one of them. Um, we're going to be talking to some great, amazing Evanston E-Town moms today. So I'm excited and I'm excited for our Facebook family. If you're out there, happy Mother's Day. Thank you for joining us. Um, and this morning, we're gonna be talking about our biggest takeaways, our biggest takeaways from, from this thing we call mamahood, mamahood or motherhood. Um, and I guess I'll kick it off. Um, one of my biggest takeaways is that love runs deep. Love runs deep, and um, I think I experienced that. Well, I experienced it a lot, but this year I experienced it because I got really, really sick this year. And to see my now adult children uh, come together and really, really, really take care of me. Um, I'm here by the grace of God and the love of my children. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, they saved my life. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> love runs deep. So, <laughs> we're gonna, enough of me, enough of me. Um, we're gonna keep this light and keep it fun. Um, <laughs> go right to my radio sister, Miss um, Lisa Lauda. It has been getting a, a pleasure, a pleasure getting to know you, getting to know your daughter over these last couple of years. Um, and really, I, I, Lisa always says, you, your, reflect, your children are a reflection of who you are. And I had to tell you, working with Elisa has been amazing. She is so mature, so polite, so just together. And you know, you're your mama's child. <laughs> you know, so I, I love working with her. And Lisa, I love working with you. Lisa is the reason that we are able to bring you this show. So Miss Lisa, let's talk about mamahood. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me, my sister, Kimberly. I am in tears because, I mean, what you said, you are your mama's child and your mother has been a keeper of our community. And now you have taken on the same responsibility. So we're getting, double for our money and it's just a blessing and i'm so thankful that god um blessed you with good health and that we can we get to continue to live together for another 50 60 years <laughs> <laughs> so kim the one thing i will say um uh, about motherhood when you first asked me to come i said <clears throat> I got a whole lot of learning to do and my kids are already 18. So what can I share? But one thing I want to share is um, for anyone who's thinking of having uh, children or who's a new mom, get your village together before the children show up mm -hmm. uh, because you're gonna need a village. You cannot do it alone. And you will be surprised at the people who come in um, at different seasons unexpectedly and they help you raise your children. I mean, you are helping me raise mine in this season and I'm so grateful to have you because there's some things that I just don't have to give her. But my sisters, um, including so many who are here today, um, give my daughter life. You know, I'm just looking at um, Sister Marquise 
My daughter knows that she can run for office once, twice, three times. Thank you. You know, thank you for leading Queen Mother. I could go on and on. Auntie, thank you for your adoption. Uh, Ms. Ty, just, and, and those who I don't know yet and um, look to know soon. I'm just grateful for sisterhood, for motherhood, and for all of you. You're on. I'm on mute. It takes a village. It definitely takes a village. I'm going to go next to Minister. I'm going to call her Minister Marquis. She's a super advocate. I'm calling her Minister today because she's on her way to a funeral. But she said, you know, what, Miss Kim, I'm going to get on the show. And she always, always, always does. We love you, love you, love you, Marquis. And you are an amazing mother. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me today, Miss Kim and Lisa and all of our great mothers. We have the the absolute queen mother on the show today, Miss Dolores Holmes. It's always uh, a pleasure of mine to be in her presence. So uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, I'm, you guys started this early by saying about the village and just being a single mother of four boys and not um, understanding how this was, how this was gonna go. Um, when these boys were born. But but one thing that I took away from motherhood is that I have unconditional love for these boys. Like, I love them even when I feel like I can't give anything else. I love them so much. And I strive, everything that I do is to be sure that my, that my sons understand that, um, you can be great. I don't care what your circumstances are. I don't care where you came from. I don't care um, where you're going, but to always chase your dreams and always understand that you can be anything that you put your mind to. So when they look at me, I want them to look and see that no matter what we go through, that we're going to overcome together. And we've been through some struggles together. Me and these boys have been in places that only God could have brought us out of. And but we stay together. Um, and I, I, I just, for anyone that is thinking about having children, or if you are a new mother, um, I'll tell you that the love that you'll have for your children is going to be an unspeakable love. It's obviously not like the love that God has for us, but um, it almost comes close because he did lay, he, he did lay his life down for us. And I know that I would do the same for my children. So, um, Thank you so much for this opportunity and thank you for the village that I had because at Ms. Holmes, Ms. Kim, uh, you women on here, I, I wouldn't have, I, there's no way that I could have made it the way to where I am today without the inspiration and the guidance that you guys gave me back in Family Focus. You didn't, you didn't throw us away, but you kept us and you kept us growing and you kept us thriving. And I'm so grateful for just knowing you. So thank you, everyone. Nah, thank you, Marquise. I mean, the love you feel for your children is unimaginable. It is unmeasurable. It just, again, runs so, so deep. And Marquise, one of my favorite memories of you, you and Brittany, my daughter, over at Family Focus, five and six years old, running around with them teenagers in the talent shows and fashion shows. So yeah, it, it is wonderful to have watched you grown up and now watch you grow up your children. So thank you. Thank you for being there. We, we're not supposed to be crying y'all on the show. Um, but it You started you. it, Kim. You started it. <laughs> I did, right? I did. But shame on me. Shame on me. I'm going to go next, next to everybody's favorite auntie. Everybody's favorite auntie. She's the usher of the year. Every year, every year, we're gonna have to let her go first because she's probably getting right on to the church right behind Miss Marquise. Miss Wella, we love you. We love you. Come Good on. morning, yes. Queen Mothers, and thank you, Miss Kim, for the opportunity to be on with you, young ladies, this morning, and Mr. Man for having us. I love each and every one on this program. I've been in Evanston all my life, and. Um, my takeaway is that I had also had that village um, when I was growing up and when I came up and I was so appreciative of it, but I had the example of my own mother 
who, after my father passed, raised myself, my brother, and my nephew on her own, working and whatever. And I used to wonder how did she do work eight hours a day or longer and come home and cook dinner like that, a good dinner, and you sat down at the table and ate together. But I um, had a wonderful village. I also did not, I don't know, didn't know all of you then because you're so much younger than I am. And I really want to give kudos to all of you young ladies because you make me so proud, make me so proud. And the tears that we may be shedding today are happy tears, but I don't want to have the ugly face. <laughs> I really don't want to have the ugly face, but um, thank you again so much for having me on the program. And I'm happy to be everyone's auntie because I need family and I love family. And if you see me anywhere and I, and I have not recognized you, please stop me because I will give you a big hug and a kiss. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much again for having me on the program. Miss Wello, thank you. And not just auntie, favorite auntie. You the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you, Miss Kim. You know I love your family. <laughs> I've been around Ms. Holmes a great deal of my life. She was a perfect example, and I should have followed her. Unfortunately, I didn't, but we're back together again. <laughs> back together again. That's what matters. That's what matters. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Swello. Next, next, I'm going to Tashia next, who I have known. Oh, my God. Tashia, I think it's it's oh, it's 20 plus years. 26. There you go. I didn't want to know. 26 years I have known to she looks younger than 26 right mm -hmm. <laughs> she is an amazing mom she can teach us some things she is an amazing mom of 10 but we could all learn something all learn something and I love you I think you are a great mom I think you are so motivated um you you motivate me you know whether you tell me other things you're gonna do and want to do and um it's just a pleasure to have watched you grown up into this amazing woman so thank you for being on the show with us today thank you for having me miss kim miss holmes i'm sitting here on this zoom call and i see miss holmes and i am imagining remembering her the exact same place at family focus when i come around the corner miss holmes behind her desk getting it done, um, working hard for us. And Auntie Wedlow said, you wasn't gonna make us cry, Miss Kim, this ugly cry, I'm not about to do it um, today. Um, but I'm just so grateful to be here. I definitely, I'm a mother of 10. I had my first child, I was 13 years old. He's a college graduate. I have another daughter that's graduating, going on to get her master's. And um, it's only by the grace of God and our community um, the people are looking out for us and looking out for our children. Um, we have to protect each other and our kids. And I'm grateful that I've been around these women and that I can raise 10 kids and I can say, oh, then people can say, you have 10 wonderful kids and how do you do it? And I always say it's God and the women in my life. Like there's no way that I can survive without God and the women in my life. So that's, that's it for me, because I'm not, mm -mm. <laughs> this ugly cry got to go. It, 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 you're so cute, it can never be an ugly cry. <laughs> but I, I, we're so proud of you. Thank you. We're so proud of you, you know? Um, Thank you. That college yes. graduates, yes. You, you know, are just, like I said, an amazing mother, a motivated woman. And yeah. I don't know, you know how many people you motivate, you know? Because you do. <laughs> yeah. Really? It feels one one thing I also want to say is how I see life come full circle. Now my children are working with Miss Kim um, with, you know, the community. And it's like, I can call Miss Kim and say, Miss Kim, I need help with my daughter. Like, can you tell me what to do? Like, how do you handle this? And um, you can always pick up the phone and call someone and have them help you. Because um, we're not perfect, but we are um, committed to our children. And that's the most um most important thing. And you don't have to be perfect to be awesome. That's my That's tagline. Right. <laughs> you don't have to be perfect to be awesome. And let me tell you some another set of wonderful kids, man. And for me, when I'm working with kids of people I know and people I'm connected with, and they're these great kids, you know, you don't even have to say, I'm going to call your mama because we can take care of whatever we need to. Yes, ma'am. They're just great, great humans. 
and you have raised some great humans. So thank you. Thank you. Another, another young mom who I have known forever, forever. Um, she came through programs again with me at Family Focus, but I have known her through church in our community um, for a long, long time. And she is another amazing mother. We got some amazing young mothers on here, y'all. And you guys had to teach me some of it because I think all of you guys have uh, more kids and you guys have just managed it because it's something to manage. So Ms. Amber, come on and, and, and talk to us a while. Thank you for being on the show. And Aunt, go ahead. Amber, you with us? Because I was going to brag on you some more. I'm here. I'm here. Technical difficulties. Can you see me now? We got you. OK. Thank you for having me on this show. It, it means a lot to me. And the fact that you consider me an amazing mom is just a blessing. Um, I want to start off by saying that my village actually started with not just you, Ms. Kim, and family focus in this homes, but I have to give kudos to someone else that is on this Zoom call, Taishia Nix. She was very influential in my life um, when I found out, I don't even want to cry, <laughs> that I was pregnant with my son, it was just scary, but she actually was just like, put your big girl pants on. You got to do this. You got to do that. She, she like walked me through it and um, I'm forever indebted to her for that. I appreciate that. But um, on another note, these faces here, it's kind of blurry. My motivation for everything, every day everything every day. Um, motherhood is sacrificial, inspiring. It's a lot of different things at a lot of different times. You know, you, put, you wear so many different hats when you're a mom. Um, you're a nurse, you're an Uber driver. You know, it's just, it's so much to do. But I think for me, and something that you touched on, Ms. Kim, um, with your illness that you had, I contracted COVID-19 in April of 2020 and had that long seven day isolation period where I had to sacrifice everything, even motherhood. Although they were in my thoughts, they were in my, you know, I was yelling through the door, seeing them on camera, but it gave me time to reflect on not only motherhood, but also self-reflect you know, on things that I think for the last 21 years, I haven't been able to do because I've been tending to these lovely six people. And um, would I change anything about it? No, absolutely not. But, you know, I was able to put some things in perspective. You know, I've been speaking with you about some things that, you know, have been in the back of my mind for years, but I just could not figure out where to put the pieces in to connect the connect the puzzle the right way. And, you know, I just, I don't even know where I would be without those six faces every day. So that's it. Um, that's not it. That's just, that, that's just the start. Amber, you are a wonderful mom of six including a set of twins. It's yeah. one set. One oh. set of twins. Ty oh. has the two. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Somebody got two sets of twins. Yeah. A set of twins. Um, and in that, managed to um, just finish your master's up. Um, I did. I'm just so proud of you, you know? And I'm, I'm glad you were covered in our well, too. I'm, I'm glad to see your, your face and me and Amber connect all the time. So great things ahead. Thank you for being yes. on the show. Thank you. And, and we saved the best for last. <laughs> and I'm a little biased. I'm a little biased because uh, it's my mama. Uh, some of y'all call her Miss Holmes. So, <laughs> some of you call her Queen Mother. I call her mom. And I appreciate her. Um, when I call and ask her to do things, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, and I was right on the lawn. 
and she has to know how much I love and appreciate her and how much she has influenced my life um, and the life of my children um, and the life of this community. So thank you, Mom, Ms. Holmes, for being on the show with us today. Well, Miss Kim, <laughs> this is the best Mother's Day present <laughs> that I could have ever had was the invite to be here. I didn't think of it in that way, but all of you, I mean, all of you on this show today are part of my life, and you all don't know how proud I am. My heart is really full, and I'm going to try to keep it together. But when I look and I see Marquise and Taisha and Amber, Lisa, all these kids who have grown up, whom I've had the honor of just having a little bit of peace in your lives, you just don't know what that means as that. Um, my own daughter, I can't even begin to talk about that because we'll be talking all day and I'll be crying all day. Um, fruits of your labor is keeps coming into my head. And I guess that's the Holy Spirit telling me that I am able to see today fruits of my labor. And uh, in terms of all of you, I see it in my daughter every day. You are so blessed when you can see your own children grow up and do wonderful things and be proud of them. Um, the village you all talk about, you have to have that. And Miss Wedlow has been my village for a long time in the way she takes my kids and my grandkids now. It's just amazing. Motherhood never ends, guys. It continues, and you continue to mother all your life. I've been blessed this year with 84 years. So I'm saying to you that it never, ever stops. And I'm so proud of that, that I learn every day a, something new. Something happens every day that allows you to have a piece of your children or a piece of your community, whatever it is that you're doing, that um, ground you and know that you can reach back and and pull on that. I, I was thinking that I didn't know anything about motherhood when I had my kids and I, I'm an only child. So I didn't have a lot. I had my family, of course. And I understood what that love meant in terms of putting your arms around folk. And that's what I tried to do at Family Focus. That's what we tried to do. We tried to do that. And I think we did. I think we were successful in doing some of that. And it makes me so happy to see you all, all grown up. And um, your face is, Taisha, your face has not changed at all. <laughs> I still see that little pixie face turning around and peeping in my door. I, um, it's just amazing, just absolutely amazing. Um, Marquise, you know how I feel about you, and I'm so proud of you, and you just keep right on going. This is going to happen, okay? <laughs> it's going to happen. And Amber, I, I, you and your family have been a part of my life forever, and I am so proud of the, I just, I mentioned it, and then Lisa, I'm saving you the last, but I'm mentioning these three because of their starts and where they were at Family Focus, and to be able to see this now is absolutely amazing. But to be able to know not only that I have a part of their life, but my daughter has had a part of their lives and continue to have a part of their lives. It's such a connection when you think about it. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And and um, Miss Lisa, <laughs> you and Jude, I go all the way back. I have to go all the way back to my kids. <laughs> I have to go all the way back to my family when they were growing up. It's just amazing when you think that you never lose those connections when you really have them. And we are blessed in this community to have that kind of connection with each other, to be able to share um, our love for one another and to be able to pass that on. What I really like about all of this is you have not kept it to yourself, but you have shared it with others and you keep passing it on. And that's what motherhood really is. The love is deep. My daughter is so right. It's so deep. You don't know how much you love until you have children. You don't know how much you can love until you have children because it's a special spot. And uh, Miss Marquise, 
Minister Marquise, I should say, you're absolutely right. It's not the God love, but it is so close to it. I'm sure that that's why he put it into mothers, that we have that connection that is just really, really different. So I'm happy to be here today, Ms. Kim. I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of what you do in this community. I'm so proud of all the things that I can look back and be blessed for. And Ms. Wedlo, you know I love you. <laughs> oh man, our hearts are all full this morning. We, we are all on the brink here. Um, Again, my Facebook family, you know I love you. My device is not working, so I can't shout you out. But if you if you're listening and watching, know know that we are um, here with you, and and we love you, and we're wishing you a happy Mother's Day weekend. This has been amazing, and it couldn't be done without Radio La Difference, who lets us come on every Saturday morning as, and present to the community those connections you're talking about. We are able to come on and connect the community. Well, this morning with some heartfelt stories of motherhood, um, but every Saturday to let people know what kind of resources there are, what we're doing, what we like to do. Um, so this platform is amazing. So you guys, Radio La Difference, your community radio station, we thank you. We thank you. Before we get off the air, I wanna go around one time and I want you to think about one word one word, and I'm not going to let you use love. Uh, we want one word um, that connects with you with motherhood. And I'm taking love off the table because we all know the bottom line is love. But just one word. When you think about motherhood, what's the first word or one word that you would connect motherhood with? And I'm going to start with Lisa. It's a gift. It's a mm. gift. Whether you give birth or not, just to help raise. It's a gift. I love that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go down to Amber. Um, I would say it's fulfilling. Mm. I'm filled every day. You know, I can be in an empty space and then just seeing those little faces. <laughs> just the, the big faces too. But the little faces now. The big face is too sometimes. I, and I'm just I'm overjoyed and fulfilled. And I, I can't I can't ask for anything better. I love it. I'm gonna go to Minister Marquise. Steadfast. Mm. Uh in this you get you 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 gotta be steadfast and unmovable. Mm. Um you got being being a mother is like Miss Holmes said, it doesn't stop, it never ends. And you have to be you have to you have to hold on to uh to those values and continue to nurture and mother your children um all the while. So steadfast is what comes to mind. These are some amazing words. Miss Wedlow. Amazing. 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 It, it is amazing to, um, to not only raise your own children, but to continue to raise the community where it is needed and to be loved by the community as well. It is amazing because many people do not even know me, but they come up to me. Hi, Miss Wetlock. <laughs> I think a great part of that is because of Miss Holmes and uh, Marquise and a few other young people that know me. But it is amazing, um, amazing love. How can this be that you would love me? So it is amazing. Thank you. Tashia? I would use motivation because mm -hmm. um, my children are my locomotive that keeps me going when I can't get up or I don't want to get up I hear one of them they come in mom can you get me some cereal and I'm like you know what that's it <laughs> I'm up they need me and um that's what I need to get me going that's what I need to get me through school my oldest son is going to school and he was telling me he's taking three classes he's working a full-time job and a part-time job my daughter and I'm like how is this going on and they just continue to motivate me 
to keep going and not to give up and to try to get my back my bachelor's degree and then my master's like Amber it's just it's just motivation they just keep me going they keep me motivated to never quit love it love it and I think I'm going to use everlasting everlasting Mm. and with these words we have gift fulfilling steadfast amazing motivation everlasting if you're on Facebook, throw it in the comments. So what's your word that connects motherhood? We're going to do something with these words. Lisa, can you see them? If there's anyone on there, would you would you shout them out? I have one device today. Carol I'm says Kim. humbling. What about Amber? What about Miss Holmes? Keep, keep me on my toes. Amber did. Amber said... No, do we not have that fulfilling? No. We have Amber. Yes, fulfilling. Miss Holmes, I'm sorry, Mama. Go ahead. <laughs> and then we go let Lisa shout out our Facebook family. Uh, I was trying to think of a word. I think I'm going to choose fascinating. Wow. Okay. That it is. <laughs> yeah, it is from the beginning. It's just fascinating. Yes, it is. From the big from conception, it's from fascinating. conception to the end, it's fascinating. Yes, I think I think I like that. Now that's word. a message right there. That's a sermon right there. And then, <laughs> you preach that, Miss Holmes. <laughs> and believe me, I could preach it. <laughs> we're gonna do something with these words. I'm gonna invite you all back, and I I, I don't know what yet, but we're gonna do something with these words. Okay, now, Miss Lisa. <laughs> Kim, uh, Carolyn Lynn is sharing the show. Thank you so much. And she says today she's crying tears of joy. Uh, Sister Betty, she's so proud of you. You all are so beautiful, um, taking care of and supporting each other. Um, Daphne Renee says, happy Mother's Day to all of you. Carolyn Ruff said, great show, Kim. Betty says, you are a blessing and inspiration to all of us, Mrs. Holmes, young and older. Uh, Trina Gregory says, you all have blessed my heart this morning. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you all. Happy Mother's Day from Carol. She says it is rewarding. Daphne says motherhood is joyful. Betty says it's a commitment. Uh, Carol says it's humbling. Rebecca Waite says it's all about the heart. And they wanted to hear from Mrs. Holmes, which you made happen. Gay Lynette says it's joyful. It's all about dedication, commitment. And Daphne says, fascinating from beginning to end. All right now, queen mother. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, you didn't know you had to work today. <laughs> but it takes I see a Kelly on, but we haven't said her from Kelly, have we? I think that's just, we, we just have another computer. Oh, okay. We just have another computer. But yeah, it takes a village. So thank you for doing that. I have one device today. I'm going to try to work that out. It's Mother's Day, if any of my crew is listening. My phone. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys i'm go- i'm headed over to fleetwood if you know anybody who needs a vaccine we're over there you can walk up to that you can walk up get a mm-hmm. vaccine if you need a second dose you can come get that bring your card be over there till three o'clock i love you all this has been a great start to mother's day weekend happy Next- mother's day queen mothers Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day, everyone. Thank you. All right. I love Sister you. Kim. Mother's Day. Thank you, Miss Kim. Sister Kim. Love you all. Love Sister you all. Sister Kim, before you go, what do they need to bring to Fleetwood? A, a government ID. That's it. And they are. Over 18 today, right? It's 18, 18 and up. Plus today, 16 and 17 next week. Okay. 18 and up. 11 to 3, everybody. Thank you. Sister, I'm coming today so I can take my shot while family's around. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'll be there with you, Miss Lisa. <laughs> All, All right. right. Man, thank you, everybody. All take right. care. Happy Thanks, Mother's Mr. Day, Mr. ladies. Mother's Love you. Happy thank you. Man. Happy Bye. Mother's Day, everyone. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. Listening to Evanston Cradle to Career Advocates for Actions on Radio La Difference Chicago. 
Please tune in next Saturday at 10 a.m. for another show. Responsibility to help keep businesses open, protect ourselves, our family, the business staff, and members of our communities. Mask up. Slowing the spread is our responsibility for protecting our villages. Mask up. Black Americans are overrepresented in nine of the ten lowest paid, high contact, vulnerable sectors of essential services. This elevates their risk of contacting the disease. Mask up. 33% of nursing assistants and 39% of orderlies and 39% of psychiatric aides are black. They're putting their lives and health on the line to provide goods and services to our society that matter. Mask up. Slowing the spread is our responsibility to help support the businesses in our community. Wearing masks can restore hope. Removing the need to put the economy into the switch on, switch off mode continuously, requiring many businesses to close, open, and close again on short notice. Uh, slowing the spread is our responsibility. Essential workers are facing the daily dilemma of how to keep their families healthy and safe while continuing to work in potentially risky circumstances. It is also important to recognize the highly precarious situation of frontline workers who are disproportionately head of households, single mothers, and women of color, a group which represents 17% of all U.S. households. Listening to Radio La Different.